This week's books, what's going on down here at Empire, and of course, free comic book day. So go to live.empirescomics.com and you can watch tonight at 6 p.m. the Ken Gehring interview. We're talking to him about his new image book, Gogor, and he of course did Planetoid previously with them. So find out about the project, find out about him, and get to know the creators a little more because this industry is really based around not only our love for comic books, but our appreciation of the people who bring them to us. Thursday night is Shazam, 6 p.m. over at, it might be 7 p.m., the uh, website will tell you. Over at Century, we're going to see Shazam. I'm looking forward to it. Next week, we've got more Google Hangout interviews on Tuesday. We've got a book club on Thursday. And Friday, we have paint night. So let's get into the books right now. Young Justice makes the top three. It has just been really fun. I've enjoyed their adventures over on Gem World, and I'm looking forward to reading number four. War of the Realms, everything that Jason Aaron has been doing over the last few years over on Thor is coming to a head and dragging the entire Marvel Universe into it with him. And Lightfield, right, written and drawn, Major X, a new X-Men character. Speaking of Jason Aaron, the man's a monster. Conan, he's been doing such a good job on it. Almost made the top three along with this one because I've been loving it. And this one brings Conan into the Avengers and ultimately, I imagine, leading into the Savage Avengers, which he is a part of. Marvel team up. Now, what's neat about this, it's a flip book. And each one has a story from a different perspective, I believe. Miss Marvel's perspective and Spider Man's perspective, a number one right there. That was really neat. Uncanny X Men, love what they've been doing. That cover, look at that cover. That is so classic. I'm going to put my money on the Green Lantern ring and not the Ray Gun. Female Fury is not your typical story at all for a new gods, but it's been doing really well on the shelves, and we still have the first couple if you want to check it out. Justice League. God, that's been good too. There's so many good books this week. Walking Dead. I've loved what they've been doing there. Captain America, such a good... Well, of course, these are the good books because... No, I, I'm not going to say that. I apologize to anyone I didn't bring their book on. And, and that's actually a reorder that I missed. So, thank you, you guys. Don't forget Shazam. Come on down. Go to live.empirescomics.com and watch the interview. And of course, free comic book day, May 4th. Mark your calendar. We are taking over the parking lot. There's so much going on. So many great names. New and old. Not a day you want to miss.